Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the scientific calculator that I recommend. The Casio FX115ES, the plus version, how to use this calculator to help us to check with our answers of this system of equations. So, let's get to work. The place that we want to go is go to mode, and then we're going to go to number 5. That's kind of like the equation solver. So number 5. And then notice that we have a 3x3 three three system of equations. That's we are going to um, choose number 2. Notice that we have the x, y, and z. So that's hit 2. And it's going to give you a place where you can enter the coefficients. But first, we need to translate this into a matrix. So it's going to look like the following. So we're just going to take down the coefficients of the x, the coefficient of the y's, z's, and the numbers. I'm going to just put in order like this. So the first number I have for x is 1. And next, I have negative 3. And next, I have 3. And then I have negative 6. And then for the second row, I have negative 2. I have 4. I have a z, which is 1z. So I have a 1. And then I have a 3. And then I have 3, negative 5, 4, and negative 9. So these are the numbers that we are going to enter onto the matrix right here. So we are just going to enter this from left to right. So I'll enter 1, and I'll hit equal. And it will jump to the next place. So I'm going to enter negative 3. Use this for negative 3, equal, and then for the next number, I will have to hit 3, and equal. And then the next number is negative 6, negative 6, equal. So I finish with my first row, now move to the second row. Negative 2, positive 4, positive 1, and then positive 3. And then the last row. 3, negative 5, and then 4, and then negative 9, negative 9. Okay, so I enter all the numbers, right, I enter all the numbers, then I just need to press equal. Then we have um, x is equal to 0. So on the calculator, just put a note, this is on the calculator, we get x is equal to 0, and then if you press the down button right here, we know y is equal to 1. y is equal to 1. And if we press the down button again, z is equal to negative 1. So you can just press uh, the down button to, and or the up button, so you can go back or go down. So 0, 1, negative 1 for the x, y, and z. With this calculator, you can just feel safe that you have the correct answer, especially when you are taking the final, especially when you are taking the exams, the final exams. Okay? So that's pretty much it. Right? That's all you need to do. But you can only do this on the calculator to help you check the answer. If you just put down the answers like this, guess what? You are not going to receive much credit because we want to see the work. We, or we want to see how you eliminate the X, Y, and Zs. Okay? And before we go, uh, I want to show you, if you just press like on or clear button, you will just get back to the equation solver right here. And there's kind of like no way to get out, okay? To get back to the normal mode, to do the usual adding, addition or subtraction, you will have to go back to mode, and then you have to choose one for computation. So you can go back to a normal mode to do like the computation, the regular computation and things like that. Okay, so that's something that you should keep in mind. And that's it.